Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Brent, aka Backpack B, back at it with another episode of Quick Cuts. If you're new here and you like what you see, consider slashing that subscribe button. I'd love to see you here every week. That's it for now. Enjoy the video. See you later. Deuces. What's going on, you crazy knife people? Today we're diving right into a mail call that I'm super amped about. Here you can see me sprinting to the front door after stalking the UPS guy online all day. The box that I've been waiting for has finally arrived. And boom, here we go. Pardon me as I disrespect the crap out of this box. And there they are, exactly what I ordered, foam peanuts. Oh, what could this be, a knife possibly? Yes sir, this is the newly released Civivi Elementum button lock. Quite possibly one of the most hyped knife releases of the year. Add a button lock to an Elementum and knife guys all over are literally throwing money at Civivi. Oh, what's up? Making it rain, please, please. Whoa, 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 yo, stand down. Drop that paper, yo. Let's unbox it, shall we? Here you can see the bright white box with simple and modern Civivi branding on it. And as we open up the box, we are greeted with the well-known Civivi zipper pouch. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff, starting out with two Civivi stickers in a cool yellow colorway. And here's the included Civivi info pamphlet if you fancy some reading. And this is the microfiber cloth that's included, which is a nice size, I dig it. And wrapped in plastic is the knife. Let's have a look. Yep, we have a lot to talk about. Welcome to Quick Cuts, let's get after it. The original Elementum was an absolute mega hit for Civivi. It has universally been acclaimed as one of the best budget EDC knives on the market for years now. Civivi did a great job with the fit and finish, creating a quality knife that checked all the boxes for an EDC folder without breaking the bank. So when Civivi announced their 2021 knife lineup and revealed plans to bring a button lock Elementum to market, I immediately knew that it was going to be a knife that drew a ton of attention from the knife community and also a lot of polarizing opinions. The button lock Elementum obviously has some big shoes to fill thanks to the aforementioned success of the original Elementum. Let's dive into the specs and see what this bad boy is working with. Weighing in at a pleasant 3.42 ounces, the button lock Elementum has a handle length of 4.5 inches. It has a handle width of 0.875 inches and a handle thickness of 0.44 inches. It has a blade length of 3.55 inches, a blade width of 1 inch, and a blade thickness of 0.12 inches, giving the button lock Elementum an overall length of 8 inches. It features a drop point Damascus blade, a button lock, shredded carbon fiber scales, a plastic backspacer with integrated lanyard hole, a deep carry pocket clip, a ball bearing pivot, and a super slicey hollow ground blade. Alright, let's take a closer look at this knife with a knife overview. Starting with the show side of the handle as always, and I gotta say I love this shredded carbon fiber version. It's a vibe that demands attention. To the left side of the handle you can see two T8 size screws holding the knife together and two holes if you want to switch the side of the pocket clip. So this knife allows left or right tip up carry which is cool. To the right side of the handle you can see the Civivi pivot hardware with the Civivi logo. This logo pivot feels smaller than the original Elementum due to the placement of the button lock. And speaking of which, right next to the pivot is the button lock. If you look close at it, there's a bit of texturing done on the button. It has a circular pattern of milled lines that radiate out from the center of the button. That's cool. It adds a small amount of grip to the button lock, which I like a lot. It's a little detail that adds a decent amount of functionality to the only deployment method. More on that in a bit. Moving on to the spine of the handle. Here you get a good look at the sandwich nature of the handle build with the carbon fiber scales sitting on top of steel liners, which are a tad bigger than the carbon fiber scales, which creates a stroked edge all the way around the handle. There's an open flow through construction in the middle here with a standoff and stop pin on the left side that surrounds the internal button lock mechanism. And on the right side, we have this plastic composite backspacer that has an integrated lanyard hole. That's different than on the original Elementum. Now onto the clip side of the handle, and here you can see the deep carry pocket clip that sits on top of the carbon fiber, but has flush sitting T6 size screws. I'd like to see that pocket clip recessed into the handle scales, but it is what it is. On the other side, you can see the pivot screw, which is size T8. Let's move on and check out the centering. That's nice, that's a strike right down the middle. Okay, time to deploy this bad boy. The only means of deployment of this knife is by using your wrist and gravity, pushing the button lock down and flipping the knife out with centrifugal force. And here we go. Yeah, I really dig that. I know a lot of people have negative opinions about Civivi omitting any other form of deployment, but I really like it. It's extremely easy to deploy, and the speed at which you can open and close this knife is crazy. It's a bold choice, but one that I feel will grow on people willing to give it a chance. 
And here you have the button lock elementum in its full open glory. I have to say that this thing is great looking. The button lock elementum is longer than the original version, so the dimensions are a bit different here, but I think that the proportions are really working and the new size they went with is great. Time to move on to standout features. And the first standout feature is obviously the button lock. This is one of the two major changes that Civivi made to the design of the knife. And obviously this is a major change. The button lock on this knife is either going to make it or break it for you. And I think that Civivi did an amazing job implementing this mechanism into the design of the Elementum. The speed at which you can open and close this knife is simply amazing. The fidget factor is through the roof. The addition of the button lock to the Elementum gives it a little wow factor that I felt was missing on the original and it makes me actually want to carry this knife. The next standout feature is the larger size that Civivi chose for the design. I'm a big fan of the dimension change. In fact, if they had stuck with the original dimensions of the first Elementum, I feel like the button lock deployment would have been far less successful. The extra length in the blade helps a lot with the deployment of the button lock. I also like that this version feels a bit different than the original because they each feel like their own designs with separate personalities. The third standout feature is the super slicey hollow ground blade that was passed down from the original design. I always liked the hollow grind on the Elementum so I'm happy to see it on the button lock version as well. The next thing that stood out to me is fit and finish. Civivi is well known for a high quality product at a reasonable price. Is it the best fit and finish out there? Absolutely not, but at this price point, it's one of the best. The materials and the execution seem to find the sweet spot of quality and affordability. You're going to get a well-made quality knife from Civivi at a good price. They've proven this over and over again, and that's true for the button lock elementum. In the case of the version that I picked up, which is the more dressed up model with their Damascus and shredded carbon fiber, aside from the plastic backspacer, I think the fit and finish is absolutely beautiful. And the final standout feature is price. For the base model with G10 and 14C 28 and steel, it costs $66.30, which is a great price for what you're getting and the quality that Civivi brings to the table. The version with Damascus and shredded carbon fiber is quite a bit more at $109.50, which is an eh price. While I like the look of this version, I'm not sure these materials warrant an additional $45. It's really up to you if you want to splurge on the look or not. All right, let's move on to my gripes with this piece, and there are a couple, starting with my first nitpick, which is the execution of the backspacer. I actually really like the positioning and size of the backspacer and the button lock elementum, and I'm a fan of its integrated lanyard hole. That being said, I hate the material they chose to use for the backspacer. It looks like a cheap plastic composite, and it feels like an afterthought. They could have done something really cool, used a better material, and maybe given a splash of color or something to bring it to the next level, but they chose not to. The next issue I have with this piece is a tiny nitpick, which is the pocket clip sitting on top of the scales, like I mentioned before. I personally prefer when there's a small, milled out area on the handle scale so that the clip can sit flush with the rest of the scale. That helps the knife in and out of pocket in my experience. I do realize that that would mean whatever side of the handle you don't attach the clip to will have a small cutout in the scale rather than just two screw holes, but that doesn't really bother me. My third issue with the knife is really an issue I have with knife laws everywhere. Let me be clear, I believe that most knife laws are ridiculous limitations put on a valuable tool, a tool that is demonized by clueless legislators that push fear-based rhetoric to limit our freedom to carry these tools. That being said, the law is the law, and the nature of this button lock is going to make it illegal in a lot of places. Let's be honest, this piece is basically a grab knife. And that, mixed with the new length of the blade now being over 3 inches, is going to limit who can legally carry this knife. Just be sure to check your knife laws in your state and be safe out there. We finally made it to my conclusions. And to be honest, I personally never loved the original Elementum. I've had one in my collection for a while now, and I don't think that I've ever really carried it. It was just kind of missing that wow factor that I look for in the knives that I regularly carry. And I'm not saying it's a bad knife by any means. It's obviously very popular for a reason. Something about it just didn't completely do it for me. That's why I was very intrigued when Civivi revealed this knife. I'm a huge button lock guy. It's one of my favorite locks. And I just gotta say that I think that Civivi did a great job creating a second version of a popular knife that feels very different. The button lock mixed with the dimensional changes and design updates like the new choil and backspacer come together to create an extremely fun piece that I have been consistently carrying in my EDC rotation since it arrived. Now all that being said, if you're interested in this knife, you need to make sure that you're going to like how it deploys, because that's the whole joy of using this piece. The original Elementum was meant to be a perfect all-around EDC knife that you could recommend to anyone and feel good about doing so. I think that the button lock lost some of that jack-of-all-trade EDC magic because it is inherently a much different knife with much more of a niche audience, and its unique button lock only gravity deployment is going to be polarizing. People seeking the best option for an all around EDC knife on a budget won't find that in the button lock elementum. You should get their original model. But if you're a fan of button locks, looking for a crazy fidget factor and a fun new way to deploy your knife, this knife is definitely for you.
And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm actually giving away this knife. I'll be posting an official giveaway post in a couple days. So keep an eye out for that. And yeah, that's it. See you later. Backpack be out. Deuces. Yeah.